Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hive Home Heating System with your Android device. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so this video is a, uh, an update on my previous video, which uh, one of my uh, subscribers or reviewers kindly pointed out that things have changed slightly and I should update the video. So here it is. So Foxy, I uh, hope, uh, hope you're glad of this and hopefully this meets your approval. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is make sure to got all your devices obviously switched on and ready and connected on the same Wi-Fi network if possible. So the next thing you do is go over to the handset. On this uh, particular video, I'm gonna be using the Huawei P10 Lite. Obviously your device may look slightly different, but it should be very, very similar. If you get any problems or questions, then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. So the first thing to do is open up your Google Home application. And there are various ways of doing this. Now, Foxy did actually suggest a slightly different way, um, and I found another way, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it the way that I found, so hopefully this will work for you guys. So click on Add, and then Set Up a Device. And then you get the option for New Devices, or Works with Google. Now, in the instance of the Hive system, it's one of those things that works with Google, so you wanna click on Works with Google. Now this will give you a list of all the kind of skills or devices that will work with the Google system. So all you want to do is scroll down until you find your Hive system or the Hive skill or account, which is quite a way down because there's quite a lot of supported items now. So click on the Hive. And then you have to enter your login details for your Hive account. So Hive services uh, are now available with Google Assistant and Google Home and all that kind of thing. So all you have to do is click on Allow. And then that will go ahead and link your Hive account to your Google Home account. Now it's asking where the devices that are connected to the Hive system are actually physically in your household. So you get the option to assign locations. So if I select all those devices and add to a room because all of them are in my living room, which kind of makes things nice and easy. Obviously, if you've got items in a different room within your house, just choose whichever location you want. So now that's telling Google where all those devices are and where to control them. And there we go, that's all the devices done and moved. So happy days. Now on the Google Home screen, now we've got a new icon for our thermostat, which we can go ahead and press and it will connect to the thermostat and give you uh, feedback on temperature, whether it's on and off, that kind of thing. So at the moment you can see the ambient temperature in the house is 20.5 degrees and the heating is actually set to 22 degrees because I've literally just put it on boost. So let's go ahead and tell um, Google to, add, well, to lower the temperature. Lower the thermostat to 18 degrees. Sorry, that temperature is outside the locked range on the thermostat. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. Turn the thermostat off. All right, turning the thermostat off. And there we go, simple as that. Turn the living room lights off. Sure, uh, turn off three lights. So we've got three lights in here. We've got the ceiling light, the little light, and the big light. So all three of them are turned off now. So hopefully that tells you how to uh, install your Hive home heating system and the active light bulbs into the Google Home uh, ecosystem. If you've got any problems or any questions or any comments, please let me know in the section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.